Chapel, there's a private chapel. The chapel itself was built in 1814, so architecturally it's quite um, a little bit later in style than the Georgian Palace we have in the upper courtyard. And the exterior of the chapel is made entirely of stone. However, whilst they were building it, they actually ran out of money. So to finish the job, they had to carve this entire interior out of wood, and it's painted to look like stone. So all of these columns and all the vaulting above us is entirely carved out of wood. And along the edges, all the way around, you have the family crest of every single viceroy that used to be here. So you have their family crest, the year they came to Dublin, and their name below it. So when they came here to Dublin Castle, they would always have their family crest carved in the chapel. And when they ran out of room around here, they continued it in the stained glass window just above it. So all the way around, all the stained glass windows represent was the first service they had in here and Whitworth was the vice at the time and his family dressed in the very middle here and that would be the box where the vice royal would sit during mass. At the last one here we have St. Patrick is also shown here, St. Patrick being the uh, patron saint of Ireland. So he's shown here in the year he came to Ireland in 432 and that's why you have that number above his uh, crest. And the chapel itself was a Protestant chapel, but once the major independence it converted to Catholic chapel, 